Merry morning, Van Cleef High School, and welcome to another edition of WVHS. Good job at throwing in Mary to the intro. If people aren't in the Christmas spirit yet, they have to be now that you said Mary. That feels sarcastic, but I can't really tell. So we're just going to move on to announcements. Good morning, Wade. Good morning, Austin. How are you today? I'm good because I'm wearing my favorite hat. That's good. Yeah. There's another one. Look. Oh, my goodness. Free it's hat. just raining hats. Yep. Well, anyways, spring dual credit students, fees for all spring dual credit classes will be due between January 7th and January 30th. All right. And you can't forget about Christmas cheer. Every Wednesday during the month of December, make sure to wear your ugliest Christmas sweater. Do you have an ugly Christmas sweater? I have one christmas e sweater, but it's not... I don't know. I it's probably you, ugly. I should make you a really ugly Christmas sweater. I would like really yeah, ugly. It'd be great. I would wear it on Wednesdays. That would be amazing. And pay a dollar yes. on Wednesdays. It'd be great. It was Wednesday. Well, guess what? What? I have jokes. Are you excited? Yay. Yep. <laughs> Best part of the week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you call a blind reindeer? What do you what do you call what do you call a blind reindeer, Austin? <laughs> I have no idea. Get it? Ah, this is good I yeah, I get it, Austin. Yeah. It hurts a little bit to hear this, but go on, please. More. What type of trucks the elves drive? I don't know, Austin. <laughs> Toyotas. Oh no! It's no, it's really good. It's yeah. I got one more. What Why doesn't it? the Grinch like knock knock jokes? Why doesn't the Grinch? Because there's like... always who's there. <laughs> Thank you, Austin, for your wonderful jokes. You never cease to You're amaze so me. You're so welcome, Wade. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't judge my jokes this week. I had like five minutes to find them. It's They're all right. They're a little rough. We did it. Well, that's it with Keeping Up with the Cleave, week 12. 12. Back to you, Chase. We now have a dozen videos. Back to me. Beat that local news station. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. I wonder what happens if I don't leave Santa any cookies this year. Maybe he'll uh, write you a complaint letter or something. Doesn't he have elves for that? <laughs> don't be crazy. Cookies are a top priority for Santa. He'd write it personally. I have no idea how you know that, but it's fine. Let's go to weather with Robbie. Thanks, guys. The weather this week will be good, maybe? Eh? Eh? Hey, anyways, on to the weather. Monday will be cloudy. Tuesday and Wednesday will be partly cloudy. Man, I hope the weather keeps up this positive trend. Well, anyways, Thursday will sport heavy rain rainstorms. I just need to stop talking because when I do, maybe the weather will be okay for once. Or maybe not. It's just Mississippi. Anyways... Friday will have light showers, and for anyone who's going out during the weekend, Saturday and Sunday will have sunny blue skies, and the temperatures this week will stay in the low 40s to high 50s. That's all for the weather. Back to you, fellas. Gee, I wish it would snow here for once. I can dump ice on you if you want. I really don't want that, Chase. <laughs> Suit yourself. Let's see who our dreamer and dreammaker is for this week. Um, it was fun.
exciting and a little bit melancholic. Uh, if you want something in the world, you're going to have to work for it. The world doesn't owe you anything. You're not entitled or special. Uh, you're going to have to work hard. Well, I want to go to nursing school um, at MGCCC um, and pursue a career in that, do critical care, and eventually become a CRNA. Um, I was in mock trial, student council, and DECA. Um, I did mock trial for three years, student council for one year, and DECA for two. With mock trial and DECA and student council, it really gets you out of your shell. Uh, you can't be shy and be in this club, so definitely um, help me grow and learn to enunciate and not be shy when I'm talking in front of people. My favorite quote's from Gandhi. It's whenever he said holding a grudge is like holding a hot coal in your hand and expecting your enemy to be burned. Um, it is an honor to have been picked as Dream Maker of the Week. Um, I think it's a neat thing that we do to recognize teachers. And thank you to Ms. Matthews for picking me this week. I teach Art 1 at VHS. Um, right now I have three classes of it. And next semester I'll have Art and um, Computer Programming. Um, being an art teacher is something that I always wanted to do. I've loved, um, always loved art. And when I was in high school, I had Miss Overstreet as an art teacher and kind of started thinking this is something that I wanted to do when I grew up. Um, my dream for VHS is to be a place that students want to come that's welcoming for teachers and students and um, just a place that makes people's lives better. Okay, um, three words that describe teaching. It can be um, rewarding. Fun and crazy and hectic. Those are some cool people. Chase, lead the seasonal puns to Austin. That delivery was like a 3 out of 10. It's just fun. No. No, you didn't think. It's time for sports news with Dog Pound. I'm disappointed. Welcome back with Dog Pound. Welcome. Do you, do you consider video games a sport? Mm, I mean... I don't know, because that's a lot of hand-eye coordination. In a play of sport, you got to have a lot of hand-eye coordination. Well, have you ever seen someone play, like, Fortnite competitively? Like, yes. their hand-eye coordination is something serious. Yes. If they did play sports, they'd be pretty good at catching, but they're kind of, they just kind of sit and play Fortnite you know, all the time. I was um, actually going through um, Facebook the other day, and I saw where a kid from our school one at the mall to play video games. Wow. Chris Howard. That is absolutely spectacular. Yes. Shout out to you. But uh, tell me how our girls soccer team did. They did good against Forest County. They dominated them. Dominated, destroyed, obliterated. Yes. Those are some nice words. Kelsey, Kelsey, yes. stop using big words. My vocab is like down here. Okay, just get with Miss McMurray. She'll get your vocab up. You can get your little reading score up on the ACT. Just Actually, my reading score is good, thank what you. What is it? Uh, that's none of your concern. Okay, exactly. Don't you worry about that. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the girls will play Tuesday, December 18th against East Central. Against, whoa. Yeah, they're Did going. Did you just say? Oh. Yep. And the boys will play against East Central on the 18th, too. I feel bad for the East Central Hornets, especially those girls. The Bulldogs is coming. The Bulldogs are coming. They've been coming. What are you talking about? Uh, they're coming for them. You know, yeah. like we've been coming for other people. We just let let them buzz around and gather their honey. Do hornets gather honey? I don't know. No, I that's know. bumblebees. Good lord. You know what? It's irrelevant. Have you they're been, have they're have irrelevant. You're right. But our winter guard team. Is, it's their second year to actually be a team. Okay. And they're gearing up for their first competition in January. Okay, okay. Well, in other news, in the b-ball news, our girls got their first win over Resurrection. That's so, awesome. Yeah, they're, so they're now 1-8. and eight, And the boys won against Resurrection 76-34. to 34. Definitely, you know, handling their business there. How do they and eat? lost to their 6A rival St. Martin, but only 50 to 41. So good job, boys. Y'all are kicking it in the on the court. Balling on the court? Yeah, there it is. Swish. Yeah. That's it for the dog problem. We got to go help them. Yeah. I need some vocab lessons. Okay. Let's join a hockey team. 
I, I really don't think that's a great idea, unless you want to live the next half of your life with two teeth. Okay, good point. Let's go to local news with Samson before anyone gets injured. Thank you, Wade. On November 30, 30th, George H.W. Bush, the 41st President of the United States, died and was laid to rest in Texas. On the way to Texas, Texas people paid their respects to the former president. That's all for me. Back to you, Wade. I remember when there was only one Grinch movie. And then the live action happened. Actually, the Grinch did have a Halloween special named Halloween is Grinch Night. I guess you do learn something new every day. Let's go to our shout out question. Week, I asked VHS what they like to do on their weekend. My favorite thing to do on the weekends is hang out with my beautiful girlfriend, Anna Claire, and hang, play either NCAA or Madden when Austin's on. What I like to do on my weekends is play video games. Um, I guess I like to play music. <laughs> and I like to hang out with my friends. On the weekends, I like going places and hanging out with my family and friends. I like to go out and hang out with my friends on the weekend. Just have fun, have a good time. I made sugar cookies with salt instead of sugar. It really does sound terrible. I have to add that to my small book of pranks. This is awful. Perfect. Let's see this week's trending video. How it feels to chew five gum. New five gum. Stimulate your senses. With that being said, it's time for the end of another broadcast. We thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and clicking the bell for notifications. Have a festive day. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to dream big, Van Cleef High School. We Bam! Say <laughs>